Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids. Now, just last week it was the NAB show, and that stands for National Association of Broadcasters. It takes place in America every year, and this year I was following along some of the new products to be announced at the show. Now, I'm really into my photography, but also, of course, into videography. I make videos every single day and absolutely love making them. And up until now, I've really used what I would call sort of high-end consumer-grade cameras or prosumer cameras. At the moment, I'm using a Panasonic uh, HC-X900M, and it's their like top-of-the-range consumer model. Captures beautiful video, but it isn't what I call a professional camera. And the highlight of NAB for me was Blackmagic Design's announcement. They announced their cinema camera, and I'm going to show you a quick picture of it on the screen now. Gorgeous looking device. Really just so, so stunning looking. And they've taken a different angle with the product that they've developed and produced. Now, it's going to be available mid-2012. It is expensive. I'll come on to that in a short while. But the camera is made of an aluminium body with plastics as well. It's designed to actually accept Canon EF lenses. It also takes ZE mount lenses as well. And you mount those to the front of the box. The actual inside of the box has got a 2.5K image sensor. So not 4K. They haven't gone quite up to the 4K sensor, but a 2.5K sensor. So very high resolution capture. It also captures uncompressed footage. And it offers 13 stops of dynamic range. Now, for those of you who are maybe familiar with taking photographs in RAW format, where you can alter the exposure after you've taken it, this does a very similar thing, but in the video world. So it captures RAW video, and then you can alter the exposure afterwards. You can color grade your footage that you've captured and produce absolutely awesome looking and very film-like looking video. I'm so, so excited about this uh, announcement that I really, really want to try and raise the funds to get one of these into the Geekanoid studio. Hopefully, they send me one to review, but if they don't, I'm going to try my hardest to get one in. Now, it's got a couple of other features that really stand out from the rest of the products that are available out there. The first one is the back screen. Now, on the back of the device, we've got a screen that you use for composing your video. So you're going to frame your video and hit record and record it. You touch that back screen and a slate comes down and it presents you with on-screen touch control for changing all of your settings and even for entering metadata as well. So you can enter the title of the clip that you're recording. It can be set to automatically record a clip number with that as well. And that makes it just easier for you to find your clips when you go to edit. So it just makes your whole job a lot, lot easier. Now the other two killer features in this is on the side of a camera you'd normally find a memory card slot. On here, you've got a slot with an interface for a solid state drive. You can put up to, a, I think, solid state drives in two and a half inch format come up to 480 gigabytes capacity at the moment. So you can put a 480 gigabyte drive inside the Blackmagic Cinema camera. That is amazing. Now the other killer feature is it is the first camera to feature a Thunderbolt connection. So you can connect this straight into your MacBook Air, for example, or your iMac and you can control and view various aspects of what the camera is capturing on your screen. That is absolutely amazing. They provide it actually with some decent software as well. It's got the very latest version of DaVinci Resolve 9, and that lets you really take advantage of those 13 stops of, um, uh, of exposure so that you can really alter the way your video looks and color grade it accurately within DaVinci Resolve and the software that they're giving away has got a high value anyway but I just can't believe that they're actually including their own software with the camera built in with the price 
Now the price, it's not cheap. It is not cheap. It's going to cost you £1,925. That is very expensive for um, uh, an untested sort of uh, camera manufacturer. But Blackmagic Design have been producing bolt-ons for cameras for capturing uncompressed footage, etc. Interfaces for many, many years. They are a very well-known brand. They're very trusted. And I think that this camera is going to really deliver on its promises. So, so excited about it. Going to bring you lots more coverage on it, I hope. Thank you very much for watching. See you all again in the next video.